Hi, my name is Kirsten and I am a program manager for the Boys and Girls Club of Greater St. Louis. And today we're gonna to be talking about DIY STEAM. So let's get started. So before we get started, we have to define some key terms, specifically what is STEAM education? What does that look like? STEAM education is an approach to learning that uses science, technology, engineering, the arts, and mathematics as an access point for guiding student inquiry, dialogue, and critical thinking. In order to understand STEAM education, you must first understand each subject and the purpose that they have and how they come together to create this new way of learning. Children are natural scientists. They try to figure out just how the world works by engaging in a series of steps called the scientific method. The scientific method includes observing, forming questions, making predictions, designing and carrying out experiments, and discussing. Technology also stands for any type of man-made object. Technology includes simple tools such as pulleys, wheels, levers, scissors, and ramps. They support children's cognitive development because as children play with these tools, they observe and learn from underlining cause and effect. Engineering applied science, math, and technology to solving problems. Engineering is using materials, designing, crafting, and building. It helps us understand how and why things work. Active and self-guided discovery is core to the arts and to STEAM learning. Children engage in painting, pretend play, music, and drawing. Art is sensory exploration. Math is number and operations, measurement, patterns, geometry, and spatial sense. Now that we've learned about all the components of STEAM and how they work together to create this new way of learning, we're going to play a tr quick trivia game using Kahoot.it. That is an interactive website that allows you to play different like quizzes or challenges or activities with other people. So I've created the challenge. It's called STEAM um, Trivia Challenge. And all you got to do is answer the 10 questions and try to beat my high score. So you're going to go to Kahoot.it and enter the game pin shown on the screen. For those who don't want to go to Kahoot.it, you can play alone at home by just answering the questions out loud. For the sake of fairness, I've only inserted clips of the questions with the answer choices. Once you go to kahoot.it in your browser, you can enter the game pin and then it'll take you to a screen that allow you to enter your name. Once you hit okay, the quiz will start.
now it's your turn to try it at home. If you think you can beat my high score, go to kahoot.it and enter the game pin shown on the screen. Now that we went over definitions and we played a small trivia game, we're going to actually get into the DIY part of STEAM. So with this, we're going to make DIY catapults. The catapult, everybody is familiar with, it's a very old game. I know we all grew up making them or playing with them. What we're going to do is get some materials. I took like $5 and went to Dollar Tree, or you can use stuff at home. I have plastic spoons at home. I didn't have to buy that. I have marshmallows at home. I didn't have to buy that. But everything that you want to use or if you want to get creative, you can do different things. But I went to Dollar Tree, spent $5 and had a ball. So without further ado, let's get into the DIY catapults. Quick disclaimer, there is no right or wrong way to create a catapult. Get creative, be innovative, and most importantly, have fun. Okay, for my first catapult, I used 12 craft sticks, three rubber bands, one spoon, and tape. First, I took 10 craft sticks, stacking them on top of each other. I took one rubber band and tied it around one end. I'm taking one more craft stick, sliding it in the middle, and tying another rubber band around the opposite end, securing the craft stick. Next, I'm going to grab the last craft stick and the spoon and tape those two together to secure them. Once they have been secured, you would then take your model and the last rubber band to secure those two together as shown in the video. And there you go, your very own DIY catapult. I was very pleased with the results. I actually tested it out using marshmallows, as you see in the clip. It was very, very fun to make, easy to create, and anyone can do it. Disclaimer, your catapult does not have to look like mine. I've been making the same catapult since I was in grade school, and it always worked. It's easy to make, um, never let me down. So however you decide to make your catapult, it's up to you. After we made the catapults, we decided to do a mini competition. We used marshmallows and tried to get um, see who can get the most marshmallows into the cup using the catapult. So check out these few clips. It was very fun, very engaging, very challenging, but fun to say the least.
STEAM education is so important because by encouraging your natural curiosities and your talent, you are able to learn how to persevere, you learn from failure, and you learn how to continue to try. You also learn how to reevaluate, redesign, and rethink any given problem while coming up with a creative or innovative solution to that problem. All of these skills are very valuable and you can learn them through STEAM activities. STEAM is not about what, where, and when, it's about why and how. STEAM is the process of application. It allows people to create a meaning for themselves and others. If you have questions, feel free to send them to gotquestions at bgcstl.org. Thank you and stay safe.